Hello XO Academy. Today we're going over the Work Parameters Configuration Tool and if you don't know what that is, that's a tool that is built into all of your ExoCAD downloads uh, that allows you to set the parameters for all the different types of materials and all the different types of jobs that you're going to be designing. Why this is uh, a really useful tool is that you don't have to go in every time you're designing a crown, let's say, you don't have to always go and change uh, what the borders are going to be like, or the margin borders. Uh, you don't want it to come out at an angle, or you do want it to come out, uh, or the, uh, come out horizontally or below the margin. Why uh, we need to use the work parameters configuration tool to also set our parameters for AI crown design. So when we use the AI crown workflow, we really don't have to put in any additional settings whatsoever. Uh, it's really just click and let ExoCAD uh, do everything uh, as we uh, tell it to. So uh, the way that we find the work parameters configuration tool is go into your ExoCAD folder. It is in the dental DB folder slash bin and the name of the file is work param config tool wpf.exe. So we're going to start that program and if you have multiple versions of ExoCAD um, you're going to want this is um, in every version of ExoCAD and it saves it for that specific folder. So if you're using multiple versions you're going to have to run this tool um, every single time you install a new version. So this is the work parameters configuration tool and on the left side you'll see all of these uh, material choices. So for uh, crown for example um, I use the zirconia material option. So I'm going to click zirconia down here on the in the right column and then here are all of our configuration options in the main window for Zirconia. I'm going to scroll down a little bit. And here we get to the settings for AI crown design. So we have AI crown design auto detect uh, maximum intersection and the material default is no, always use my intersection parameters, or yes, allow to adjust my parameters. So you can choose that. AI crown distance to antagonist. This is basically um, your distance uh, for occlusion. So for me, the minimum value is negative one millimeter to a maximum of one millimeter. Now this is the distance, this is the space. So a negative value is going to be an intersection of your crown and the antagonist and a positive value is going to be a distance or a space between your crown and the antagonist um, scan. For me, my value is 0 0.240. So I have uh, basically a quarter millimeter of distance in between my crown and my antagonist. The reason why I have distance uh, in there are uh, a couple reasons. The first is that scans, intraoral scans, always overclose the patient. So meaning that if I have um, a tooth on the bottom and a tooth on the top and I take my buccal bite or my occlusion scan, all scanners are going to actually intrude those teeth because when we take uh, a scan of just a single arch, let's say the, the uh, upper arch, we take that scan and then we have the location of the teeth. Then we take a bottom scan and we have the location of those teeth. But when the patient bites, the, the patient has a periodontal ligament. So those teeth are going to, those ligaments are going to compress and those teeth are going to intrude both up and down or um, they're, they're both going to intrude into the socket. And every scanner compensates for that by having its own 
uh, own compensation, let's say. So when we take a an occlusal, or I'm sorry, when we take a buccal bite scan or a bite registration scan, those teeth have intruded and the scanner captures that intruded position. That results in an intersection of the scans, which can't happen in real life, obviously. You can't have a tooth here and a tooth here. Uh, they can't go into each other. It's the compression of the periodontal ligament that results in this um, what is interpreted as a scan intersection. We, we interpret that um, or uh, we interpolate that as you know heavy occlusion or light occlusion, but it's really in, in reality, it's actually the scans intersecting and going past each other. So my compensation for that intersection is 0 0.24 millimeters. The next uh, option that we have is AI crown distance to neighbor and that is um, you can you can consider that as proximal contacts so I for me I like to have tighter contacts rather than open contacts so again this is the distance so a positive value is going to be a space in between the proximal uh, surfaces and a negative value is going to be how much of an intersection though, uh, that crown design is going to uh, intersect to the neighboring tooth. And um, I have the same value um, as my occlusion, just um, an order of magnitude smaller. So mine is negative. I like to have uh, to make sure that I have a good, con good contact. And again, this is the same principle of um, occlusion. You can't have an intersecting proximal contact, but the teeth uh, have ligaments. Um, so when I push that crown in, the, the proximal teeth are, are going to, um, the ligament is going to compress and move out of the way, and I'm going to be able to, to seat that crown fully. That is also the reason why when I design implant crowns, I really make sure that that um, proximal value is not negative uh, 0 0.024. I make sure that my value for implant crowns is actually zero uh, because I can't, there, there, is no, uh, there is no give on an implant abutment. It doesn't move at all um, and the neighboring teeth will. So that's that's why my uh, implant crowns, if I forget to change that value, I'm going to be adjusting those proximal contacts for a long time to be able to get that crown to seat all the way. So you can go through all of the AI crown um, parameters here, and when you have these set, um, so the next one here is AI crown prefers smooth versus details. Uh, that's negative one to one, and that's um, like basically like how deep the grooves are um, in the occlusal surface versus how smooth they are. And mine is set at 70%. Uh, but when you have all of these AI crown parameters set, you really, all you have to do is detect the margin and have ExoCAD do the AI crown design for you, and you're going to have very little adjusting to do. Uh, it's basically going to design a perfect crown for you every time. So I hope that helps um, make your workflow a little bit more efficient, accelerate your uh, crown design, accelerate, accelerate your throughput and your workflows. Uh, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.